Hunter, Crazy Life Scotland and a B&M haul. I was at B&M today and picked up two bags worth of stuff. Some of it's for Granny Annie and some of it's for me. Oh, the cat just about fell. Say hello to everybody. Say hello to everybody. Say hiya. Hiya. This is Lomond. And that's Clyde in the background. Anyway, we digress. <laughs> anyway, we're water. Sorry. <laughs> Um, yeah, some of it's for me, some of it's for Granny Annie. A lot of it is edible. I am on a calorie counting journey. Granny Annie is apparently starting tomorrow. So a lot of it was for that. I nipped in for a couple of specific things, but couldn't see what I was actually looking for in some respect. I was looking for a candle lighter, you know, like, like that sort of thing. Mines are running out, as you can tell. Like that sort of thing. But they had long matches, but they didn't have a fire, a fire lighter, a candle lighter. It's for my craft. Anyway, I'll stop havering and get on with it. I will give you the prices for everything. I've got my receipt. I will give you calories where appropriate. Oh, these are heavy. Jack picked these up for the birdies. Ten pack of suet blocks. Because our birdies are hungry and we always have to feed them. And they were $4.99 for the ten pack. I don't know if I said it, but this is in no particular order, it's just as I grab it. I got two boxes of the mint chocolate chip fibre bars. These are, it really annoys me how they have the, the picture a different way on the front and the back. Anyway, they are 87 calories per bar and these were a pound a box. I picked up two of them, one for me and one for Granny Annie. <laughs> You're going to laugh when you see this, but I checked the date first. You know when it comes to Christmas time, I love everything gingerbread. I saw the Makati Gold gingerbread hot chocolate. Now, I had that, not Christmas there, but the Christmas before, I think, and really enjoyed it. So when I saw it, I checked. It is in date until April 2023. So I'm going to put that away until Christmas time. Just out of curiosity, calories-wise, 406 per 100 grams. That doesn't really help us. Nearer the time, if I'm still calorie counting, I will work out the calories per cup. It was a pound for that. And who am I kidding? When it comes to Christmas, I don't count any calories. I'm really loving the cappuccino for the Dolce Gusto just now. I was a huge um, latte fan. And I do still like the lattes. I never thought I would like a cappuccino, but I actually prefer these to the lattes now. And when I was in B&M, they were £3 a box or, yeah, they were just £3 a box. So I went on the Asda app to see how much they were in Asda because we were going there next. And then Asda, they're £3.50 a box or three for £10. So I thought, well, even if I was to get three, it would still be cheaper. So I only picked up two, but £3 a box is great. And these are 82 calories per drink, if you like. I apologise if I keep saying if you like because it's doing my head in. It's doing my own head in, but it still happens. I'll try to stop. Jack likes the coffee mate for his coffee at work, so he picked that up. Again, it was cheaper than in Asda. It was £2.39 for the 500 gram tub. I don't know what this is calorie wise. Each mug contains 37 calories. So, yeah, I never use that. We were needing more chocolate spread, so while I was in B&M, I picked up the large Nutella. It is a 630 gram jar, and that was 3 99 Brooke loves it. I don't know what this is calorie-wise. I've never looked because, I have to admit, I do quite like just a wee spoonful. I'm not keen on it on toast or anything, just a wee spoonful at a time. Um, 80 calories for a 15 gram portion, so it's not too bad, I suppose, if you want a wee chocolate fix. Now, back to the gingerbread. You'll see a bit of a theme here. I love gingerbread men dipped in my coffee. I'm a duker when it comes to, or a dunker, if you're not Scottish. And I just love them. But, obviously, you normally only get them at Christmas, or you used to only get them at Christmas. But I saw these and thought, I need to get them. Because it's a little, it's six individual packs, 19 grams in a pack, and as you can see already dug into them and I think there was maybe five or six in the pack so it wasn't too bad and I really really enjoyed them 88 calories per pack of gingerbread men and it was 75 pence for the six packs can't complain at that 
Granny Annie had asked me to get them from Seabrook crisps when I was out. She said get plain or it really doesn't matter. So I saw this massive bag in B&M. It was an 18 pack for £2.69 for 18 bags of crisps. And let me see. Apparently they're gluten free and cooked in sunflower oil, suitable for vegetarians and vegans. Each bag contains so it's 125 calories for the salt and vinegar, 129 for the sea salt, 127 for cheese and onion, and 126 for prawn cocktail. So not bad at all. I'm going to get this out of the way because you're going to laugh at me. During Vlogmas, I was obsessed with these. Yes, you guessed it. The gingerbread chocolate digestives. I love them. And during Vlogmas, I, I couldn't find them for a while and I was going crazy. And then after Christmas, I was finding them really quite cheap in certain places. I think, I can't remember what the cheapest was that I saw them. But they had them in B&M's for 50 pence a packet. And I just had to. And yes, I'm calorie counting. But I can count the calories, it's fine. 80 calories per biscuit. So if I've got a wee hundred calories spare at the end of the day, one of these, but I'm going to have to be good because over Christmas I would take the packet through to the living room to watch the telly and I would eat the whole packet. You know, I'll put my hand up and admit it. I would easily eat the whole packet in one day to myself. So I'm going to have to be good and work out how many calories I've got and just take that amount through with me because if I sit with a the packet they'll be gone before I realise it it's one of those things that I do it without even realising it and then I put my hand and I'm like oh, oh there's none left <laughs> so yes I did maybe pick up um, four of them <laughs> 50 pence each I had to do it and they're fine date wise many they'll be well, well gone by me they'll be gone by the end of February Abby likes her quavers and quite often in Asta it is hard to get just like a six pack of quavers and when I saw them in B&M I had to pick them up. They were, can't remember how much it was per pack but it was two for one, it was two for three pound. Was it maybe two pound a pack or I can't remember. You were saving a wee bit anyway. So I did pick up two of them. I got a pack for Abby and a pack for me. Does anybody else think that the new packaging looks like nappies? I always think of nappies when I pick up these. And these are 86 calories per pack, which is good. That's why I got some for me as well. Back onto the digestives, but it was for Jack this time. He picked up the lemon drizzle digestives and they are nice, but they're not as nice as gingerbread ones. That was a pound a pack and these are 80 calories per biscuit as well. Oh my God. That's shocking. I just checked the best before date as I put it down. 21st of August 21. Now it was on the main shelf beside all the biscuits. It wasn't in like a reduced bin or anything. And that was a pound compared to 50 pence for them. And they're like four months out of date, five months out of date. I think there'll be a little complaint going into B&M. There we go, lesson learned. When you're in B&M, check the dates. I don't, when I'm in Asda, I check the dates of everything. But when it's things like biscuits, unless it's reduced from Christmas, I don't normally check the dates. That's shocking. I'm right, eh? That, 21. Yeah, August 21. Oh, that's bad. They'll be getting a little complaint. I've been looking for little bits of chocolate, like real chocolate that I can have at the end of the day because quite often I've got 100, 200 calories left and you don't always want a skinny whip. They're lovely and, you know, they are really nice, but sometimes you want real chocolate. And so I picked up the Twixies. I was going to get the Twix fingers, like the white chocolate fingers, but you were getting nine of them for about 40 pence less than this. And because they were slightly bigger, they were more calories. And I thought, you know what? I would rather get the ones that are under 100 calories. And that way I know what I'm doing. So they are 99 calories per finger. And it was 199 for the pack of 10. And it, yeah, it was a bit more expensive. And yeah, they're smaller, but it works out better for me, I think, on my diet. They had the Mars Bar ones as well and the Snickers and I love them all. They are quite expensive though, £2 for 10 because they are tiny but they're a good portion when you're trying to control your chocolate habits. <laughs> I think these must have been another Jack purchase because I didn't pick them up. Yes, yeah, so Jack picked up these, the white 
um, Maltese or bunnies. Oh, I might be tempted. Per portion, 63 calories for one bunny. Not too bad, I suppose, but they do feel quite small. So I suppose if you've only got 67 calories left and you want something sweet, you couldn't even have a skinny whip bar for that, could you? Yay! These were a pound for the 58 gram bag. I actually picked these up for Brooke when I saw them. Kit Kat Pops. I've never seen them before. It does say they're new. And it's peanut and corn flavour. So, yeah, she loves the peanut butter chunky Kit Kats. And she likes popcorn flavoured things. So I thought, oh, I bet you she'll like that. Out of curiosity, what are they? For 13 pieces, it's 158 calories. And the pieces feel a decent size. That's not bad. So hopefully she'll enjoy them. These were a pound for the bag. On to the Skinny Whip type bars. I got these in Asda last week and to be honest I wasn't very keen on them. It's a honeycomb uh, skinny chocolate crunch. They are 90 calories per bar and they were a bit dry for me and didn't really have a huge honeycomb flavour. So I picked them up for Granny Annie because she might like them. And they were definitely cheaper than they were in Asda. They were a pound, I think they were one pound fifty in Asda last week. Don't hold me to that, but I'm pretty sure they were. So yeah, they're for Granny Annie and hopefully she will enjoy them. I do like the strawberry and chocolate spinny whips. Spinny whips? Skinny whips. These are 96 calories a bar and they are lovely. So I got a pack for me and a pack for Granny Annie. And they were 89 pence a pack and you get five in the pack. I don't think I've tried these skinny crunch ones before, but I do like anything mint flavour. Again, they might be quite dry like the honeycomb ones, but I thought I would try them. They are 73 calories per bar and that was, they were a pound a box. And yeah, we'll give them a go, we'll see what we think. If they're too dry for me, I won't get them again. But yeah, so I got two of them, one for me, one for Granny Annie. I know I like these, the mint and dark chocolate skinny whips. These are brilliant. 97 calories per bar. And these were 89 pence a pack. I got two, one for me, one for Granny Annie. And these next ones, hello Hugo, there's none here for you. There's none here for you, big boy. Sorry. I do like the sound of these, the Skinny Dream Chalk Peanut Bars. I think they sound amazing. They sound a bit like sort of snicker type things. These are 96 calories per bar and they were £1.50 for the pack of five. But my problem is... I can't eat with my teeth in, these are false teeth. So most of my videos you'll see me without teeth. You're honoured that I've got teeth in today. Um, and I can't eat with my teeth in, so peanuts, I can't, there's no way of me like grinding them, chewing them, whatever. And uh, so I end up having to spit them out. Not very nice. Uh, so I didn't get them as much as I love the thought of them. I didn't get them, I just got them for Granny Annie. But I'm sure she will really enjoy them. I did try to get the... Bliskoff skinny whip bar things whatever they're called from Iceland again today and they still didn't have them I'm desperate to get my hands on them I got these for Brooke Brooke loves the Crave sticks they're a great treat for her just to pick and go if she's running out the door and wants to take a snack with her she really likes them she likes the Crave cereal but she's gone off cereal like just sitting with a bowl of cereal but she will eat these these are 98 calories per stick and these were £1.50 for the box of five. Granny Annie said that she's starting her calorie counting journey from tomorrow, so she wanted some chocolate for her and for my dad for tonight. So I picked this up for my dad. He loves dark chocolate and he loves rum and raisin flavour. So this is rum and raisin dark chocolate, a luxurious dark chocolate with rum flavouring and raisins. He will really enjoy that. If you're interested, it's 487 calories for 100 grams, and that's a 200 gram bar. It was £1.49, which isn't too bad. And for Granny Annie, she said anything dairy milk, like Cadbury for her, because she loves Cadbury's. So I actually picked up two things. I got this for her because I love these things, like no matter what time of year. At Christmas, they do them with uh, Christmas trees, and this is the Easter version. So it's dairy milk, milk chocolate with some white chocolate on top. So in this case, it's a little white rabbit. At Christmas, it's a little white Christmas tree. And it's lovely because you get the taste of the two different chocolates in one. This is 25 grams is 133 calories. And that's a quarter of the bar. That was a pound. 
for that. And the other thing that I got her that I also got me because it's lovely. I got this in Poundland a few weeks ago and then when I was in Poundland again I looked for it and they didn't have it. And it's the Dairy Milk Hot Cross Bun flavour. It's lovely. It's not overpowering but it's really nice. It's got raisins and a cinnamon crunch to it and I do recommend it if you like that sort of thing. I'm hopefully going to have some of this as a treat tonight with my calories of course. Um, six chunks is 138 calories and that was a pound a bar as well. Away from the edibles just for a little second and I'm not getting kinky in my old age. I picked up some baby oil. It's for my crafts. Honestly, it's for my crafts. I picked it up and Jack sort of looked at me and said, say, well, don't have a baby. What are you up to? It is for my crafts. It's basically, I'm going to make some resin shakers and to make the stuff in the middle shake, it's baby oil that you use rather than water. So that's what I got that for. It was a pound for that bottle and it's a 200ml bottle. Nearly there, last three things and they're all edible. I've been right in the mood for it. Right, tell me how you say it. Do you say blue ribbon or do you say blue riband? We've always called them blue ribbons, but apparently it's blue riband. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Do you say band or bind? Riband? Ribband. It's a blue ribband. Anyway, I've been in the mood for these. I think I saw them on someone's video and I thought, oh, I could go one of them. So I saw this. It was a big 16 pack. These are 92 calories per biscuit and they're wafer. There's not much eating in them, but just every now and again, you want something a wee bit different, don't you? So I got that. It was £1.79 for the 16. Oh, something else that Jack has picked up. <laughs> He's picked up the mint poppets. Now, I used to love poppets, especially the orange ones. They were fab. But I got a packet last year, I think, of the orange ones. And I was so disappointed because they were brick hard. I, I remember them as being quite squishy. You could squish them in your mouth. But now you've got to actually, not crunch, it's not a crunch, but they're really hard. You can't squish them. And yeah, I ended up putting them in the bin. And I love orange chocolate. Anyway, these are... 447 calories per 100 grams for these and they were 89 pence for the bag so that isn't too bad and finally another little treat for me tonight I was watching Christine's video before I went out this morning I only watched half of it I still watched the other half and she was talking about the Terry's chocolate orange mini eggs and saying that they were really orangey and really nice so when I saw them I had to pick them up another wee treat for tonight and these are 117 calories for six. So that's not too bad at all. I like it when it's easily portioned like that. You get six of them, it's 117 calories. No way in, just grab them and go. I like that. It was a pound for them as well. So that was everything that I got at B&M Bargains today. And it came to 52 pounds and three pence altogether. And like I say, it's not all for me, but mostly edible. And I didn't get everything that I went in for, but I never do these days. It's so annoying. Anyway, I'm going to head off now. I hope you've enjoyed this. If so, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you like this sort of video, because we do this sort of thing as well as family vlogs and weight loss things and crafty things and everything on this channel. So please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little bell notification so you get notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you in my next one. Oh, don't forget to talk to me in the comments below. Thanks, everyone. Bye.